Hey guys, today we'll learn three new vocab words, congruent, midpoint, and bisect. And these three words, they're all related. So let's start with congruent. So congruent just means equal in size. So congruent segments have the same length. So in this diagram, we can see segment AB is congruent to segment CD because they both have a length of 10 centimeters. Now, the cool thing about the word congruent is it has its own special symbol. And that symbol looks like this. It's an equal sign, which kind of makes sense because it means equal, um, with a little squiggly above it. Now, whenever we see that symbol, it actually means the words is congruent two. Now this is great news if you're like me and you don't like writing everything out every time because it can really save us time when we're writing out and describing what we see in these diagrams. For example, in this diagram we can write out segment AB is congruent to, there's our congruent symbol, segment CD. Now believe it or not what I just wrote out is a complete sentence, right? If you break it down and look at each of these symbols, they just stand for words. This symbol set stands for segment AB. There's our is congruent to. And then last we have segment CD at the end. So again, we can use these symbols to describe what we see in these geometry diagrams. Now in a diagram, we show that two segments are congruent using these little hash marks. So on number one, we can see that segment WX is congruent to segment YZ because they both have these little hash marks on each segment. Now look, look at this next one. We have um, segment DG and EF, both of those just have one hash mark, whereas these other two segments have two hash marks. So if a segment has a certain number of hash marks, then any other segment in the diagram with the same number of hash marks is congruent to that segment. Now for number three, notice only two of the segments are marked as congruent. So that's all we know. All right, so now that leads us to midpoint. Now a midpoint is exactly what it sounds like. It is a point that is perfectly in the middle of a segment. Now, what that means is it cuts the segment in half, which makes those two halves equal. But wait, we have another word for equal, right? Those two halves are congruent. So whenever something is a midpoint, it divides the segment into two congruent segments. And just be careful, just because a point is somewhere in the middle of a segment doesn't make it a midpoint. You would have to either be told that it's a midpoint or actually see those hash marks in the diagram. Now that leads us to our third and final word, bisect. Bisect just means to cut something in half. So let's look at this diagram and see what's going on. It says line BC, okay, well, line BC is right here, bisects segment YZ. Now, whenever you're reading this, the thing that comes after the word bisect is the thing that's getting cut in half. So in this case, segment YZ, that's right here, is getting cut into two congruent segments, YA and segment AZ. Those two segments are congruent. All right, so let's see some examples. So first off in this diagram, we can see that these two segments are marked as congruent, which means they're equal. So whatever you see for one of the segments, you would just set that equal to whatever you see for the other one. In this case, 3x equals 24. That's it, just set up the equation and then solve for x. In this case, we'll divide both sides by three, which means that x equals eight. All right, another example using the word midpoint. So let's just read this first off. A is the midpoint of CT. Well, that means that it's perfectly in the middle and it cuts CT into two congruent segments. So let's see, what else? We have to solve for x and then find the measures of pretty much all the segments. So let's see, we've got segment CA, which is 5x minus 15, and segment AT. Those two segments are congruent, which means that we can set them equal to each other. So we have 5x minus 15 equals 
2x plus 3. Just setting up that equation is half the battle. Once you've got it this far, then you just have to solve for x. So let's see, we want, we've got x's on both sides. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides to combine my x's. So that'll give me 3x minus 15 equals 3. I'll add 15 to both sides, giving me 3x equals 18. And then last, we'll divide both sides by 3, giving us x equals 6. Now be careful. X is 6, but that's not our final answer. Remember, it was asking us to find CA, AT, and CT. So I'm going to take that X value of 6 and plug it back into each of those things. So for CA, plugging 6 in for X, we have 5 times 6 minus 15, and that equals um, 15. And then same thing for AT, we have 2 times 6 plus 3. Well, 2 times 6 is 12 plus 3, that equals 15 too. So we can say CA equals 15 and AT equals 15. That kind of makes sense because we said CA and AT are congruent. They're equal. And last but not least, segment CT is the whole thing. So that's just 15 plus 15. So that equals 30.